In this video I will show unboxing of Gigabyte G1 Sniper Z97 mainboard and how to install CPU and cooler on this mainboard. Gigabyte G1 Sniper Z97 mainboard has socket 1150 and supports 4th and 5th generation of Intel processors. You can find full specification in the description of this video. G1 sniper box contains one two-way SLI bridge connector. Four SATA cables. Gigabyte stickers. I.O. shield Multi-language quick installation guide User's manual with motherboard driver disk SATA cable labels Two cable ties G1 Sniper Z97 motherboard Board is the black color and feels high quality. On back of the board are all standard I.O. ports. Display and audio ports are gold plated. In left bottom part of the G1 sniper board is located onboard Creative Sound Core 3D quad core audio processor. Four RAM memory slots support up to 32 GB of DDR3 RAM. There are Reset, Power and Reset CMOS button directly on motherboard, which you can use while you're testing different setups with an open case. Let's install the Intel 4790K processor and stock cooler. Open the CPU socket by pressing the lever away from socket and lifting it. 
Position the CPU carefully so alignment notches on the CPU socket are matching the one on CPU. Be careful and double check the CPU positioning. Close the CPU socket and position the top of it under the screw on the main board. And then close the lever. Remove the cover of the CPU socket. Sometimes cover will be automatically removed when you close the socket over the CPU. Stock cooler will already have thermal paste on bottom, so there is no need to apply any of it on CPU. If you are installing third-party cooler, please check installation instructions and see is it necessary to apply thermal paste separately. Place the cooler on CPU and align cooler pins with holes on mainboard. When aligned, push the cooler pins until you hear the click sound indicating that cooler is attached to the mainboard. You can check back of the mainboard and see are pins holding the board. Connect the power connector of CPU cooler to the CPU fan connector on mainboard and position the cable so it is not above but besides the cooler. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video. Until next time.